White field astrophotography is one of the most popular modalities of our hobby, not only for the ease of being practiced, but also for the comprehensiveness of being able to reveal what really the sky would be like if it could sit beyond our city's light pollution. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the Astronomina's channel. I am Fabio. In our last video, I presented my new setup aimed for wide field astrophotography using the ASCAR FMA-135. It was designed to eliminate the need to create mosaics using the Sky Rover 60 Super ED. But for those who have known me for a while, you know that I like to be involved in long-term projects. Sun mosaics are easy to create with just two or three panels, but some take much longer like the Milky Way mosaics. In the Milky Way mosaic I created using the f 24mm lens in July 2022, I took 30 nights to get all the 26 panels. In a month, I managed to complete the entire project. In the case of 50mm mosaic, there has been a 14-month wait since work began in May 2022. Hopefully, I will be able to complete it next month. The biggest challenge in obtaining good results in this type of project is to achieve a good sequence of clear nights, which is really only possible between April and October, and preferable during the new moon or before the moon rises. Of course, capture sessions are not always successful, and this type of project demands a lot of time and dedication, thus keeping our motivation high. When I completed the captures of the Itacarinae Nebula using the ASCAR FMA-135, I realized the great potential in creating extremely detailed images of the hydrogen and interstellar dust regions that this small telescope has. As soon as I finished the image process using the ZWO band filter, the idea of creating a mosaic with all the main objects in the Itacarinae region start to take shape. The main object is to portray the hydrogen and dust regions of the entire Itacarinae complex. Therefore, I will only use the dual band filter, which will make the acquisition and process easier. As I achieved an excellent result with only two hours of integration, I decided that each panel would consist of 60 light frames of two minutes. There are several methods for planning and creating a mosaic. My preferred method is to simulate the apparent field of view and framing of each panel using the settings of my equipment in the Stellarium and thus having an idea of how long and how many sessions will be needed. By the simulation I will need five panels to frame the main objects of the region. The Running Chicken, the Statue of Liberty and Itacarinae Nebulae and the C91 star cluster, plus a panel to complete the top left image corner. To create and finalize the mosaic, I use the Microsoft Image Composite Editor as usual, which is one of the simplest free software we can find for download. As my last image of Itacarinae Nebula using this equipment was very good, I will use the same settings on the ASI 533MC Pro. Light frames of 2 minutes, with camera again at 180 and cooling at minus 10 degrees.
During the Holy Weekend, the winter cooperated a lot, mainly by the presence of a polar air mass, which kept the air dry and with great transparency. I was able to stick to a four-hour capture routine each night through Friday and Saturday, and use the Sunday night to complete the mosaic. Each panel contains 60 light frames of 120 seconds and were processed individually with the same settings. The final image is the result of 10 hours of acquisition and at least another 20 hours of processing. And it was the most amazing image I've gotten of the region so far. Creating a mosaic is an incredible experience, because with each finished panel, expectations increases and keeps our interest in achieving a great final result alive in addition to revealing what cannot be seen with the naked eye, making it clear that the beauty of the universe is much greater than we can imagine and see. This project was one of the biggest achievements I had in 2023 so far. I hope you like the final result as much as I do. I wish you all clear skies and see you soon.